Okay, so what we're going to look at in this video is how to use API data to drive your tests. Now, we've already set up some API calls in our API testing module. So we've set up our create users and our post user. Now, this create users, where we've set up our URL with the endpoint, it's a get call, and we've mapped our response. When we click on send, we can see that this API call returns, in this case, some uh, user details, email, first name, last name. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that API call, which gets those user details, to then write those details into the user interface in the front end. So let's go to our project dashboard and let's say new goal. And this is going to again be against our rocket shop. And we're going to call this API data test and create an ad first journey. So now we can see again, We've created the um, journey. We've got the first URL, which has opened the live browser. So now what we're gonna do, we've gotta to get to the checkout first, because that's where we're gonna write our details. So let's go ahead and wait for uh, the Rocket Shop merchandise. Let's look for Comet integration. Click add to bag. Then we're going to click the shopping bag and then we're going to wait for go to checkout and then we're going to wait for so we can wait for the um, confirm and pay so confirm and pay now again we've got the form here so we want to have got the email address and the full name here so let's go ahead and what we're going to do now is we're going to make an api call so let's uh, create a new checkpoint so let's say api call and in there we're going to say api and then we're going to do our create users, put the brackets so we're not mapping any input, so we can leave those blank, returning our response. So now when we do that, we're doing that, remember, we're making an API call in our functional journey. So we've got our API call, if we click on that, we can click on side effects and we see response dot data dot data. And then we've got our email sets, uh, our data sets, sorry. So now what we can do is we can go in and say, if I want to write the email, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in the email box. So I'm going to write response.data.data.email. And the reason we're doing that is because in our response, we've got response.data.data email. And we're going to do that into the uh, email field. So let's say in email. And by doing that, you can see I've now got the API data, which I've written into a field. Now what we've got in here is we can see that if we want to write the full name, now this API call returned a first name and a last name. So what we can do first, we can store value and in an expression, dollar bracket, we can say response.data.data.first name plus, then we want apostrophe space apostrophe to put a space between them. And then we're going to say response.data.data.last name, close brackets, in name. And by doing that, we've now joined together two variables from the API data. So we've now got Janet Weaver from the API. So then what we could do is say, <coughs> let's write name in full name, for example. So you can see how now we've made one API call, stored it in response, and now we're writing, we're even creating new values to join those responses together, and we're writing that on the screen. It's a great way to be able to leverage API calls to be able to, in this case, insert data into the, um, into the interface. So that's how we can use API calls to, uh, use, uh, to drive data in our tests.